Okay, today we will start reviewing section 1.3. Well, it will be a little bit longer than one session tutorial, uh, one session review. So I will continue next week for the rest of this week's uh, review session. Uh, so 1.3 review session. This is uh, the main focus I am planning to do here. Let me just make sure that I have it right. Tutorial 1.3. Yes. Okay. So this is, I will start with the planes in R3, and then we will go ahead and do more work uh, on the lines in R3 and lines in R2. So uh, first, it's about planes in R3. So you see, when we have, uh, when you consider the space, the three-dimensional space, then um, you can imagine all the all the planes, straight planes in R3. And one key point about the planes is that every linear equation, um, such as A times X plus B times Y plus C times Z, equal to a number. What are A, B, C there? Where A, B, C, and D are uh, constant numbers or numbers. And X, Y, Z are the coordinates of the points in R3. So it's like you have the first component X, second component Y, Z, okay? So every such linear equation describes a, a plane in R3. Well, how does it work? So the way it works is that you take all the points whose coordinate satisfy this equation. So the set of all points x, y, and z, which satisfy Uh, a x plus b y plus c z equal to d, or or the the set of all these things form the plane. And geometrically, this is what we will need to know: that finding a point on a plane with such an equation just means that you find the three numbers, coordinates of a point, x, y, z, so that when you plug it into that equation, you get, you get the equality. For example, consider the equation 3x minus 2y, plus z equals to one. This is a linear equation. And actually we call this thing that it has a name. The form of the equation has a name. It's called the standard form. Equation in the standard form. Consider this equation in the standard form and find some points on the plane described 
or defined by the equation. What we really mean is that, okay, so give me three numbers so that when I plug in the first one in X, the second one in Y, and third one in Z, I get an equality like this. For example, I can say that, okay, one, one, and zero is a point on the plane. Why is that so? Because if I plug in the first number in X, the second number in Y, and the third number in Z, I'll get three minus two, which is one. And you see that that equality is satisfied. Or you can say that a point like two, uh, five, so that's six, uh, 11 minus 10 divided by negative two, it's is a point on the plane, on this plane. Again, why, how you do that, do you plug in X in first component next, second component what, and third component in Z, you will see the equality. Can anyone give me another point on this plane here? Can anyone give me another point on this, on this plane? And I'll wait for that to get an answer from you guys. Okay, so maybe we can say one, three, zero. <laughs> one, three, zero. So let's see. Um, so who is giving me, oh, Chioma is giving me this, one, three, zero. Uh, can you tell me how did you find this one, three, zero? I just literally chose a number because, you know, you, you just told us that X, Y, Z yes. to equate to one when we plug in um, a number for the coordinates. Okay, so I should, I, are you saying I should look for numbers that equates to one? Yes. Like, okay, okay, I get it. So if we put the three, then put the X, Y, Z. Okay, I get it. Okay, so I will probably do it again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh, I see. Okay, but in general, this is how you do, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, if all the coordinates which are in the equation, you put for two of them, random numbers. Chioma, give me a random number now. Random number? Just any number. Okay, uh, two and two. Four. Just one for one of them. And then you're saying four. I can put it either for X or Y, sorry, for Y or Z. I'll choose to do for one of these guys, okay? I choose any random number for two of coordinates. Then I plug that in. And I write the equation for that. Now, the third variable, will have an equation there. So you see, this is six minus two y plus four is equal to one. This is minus two y, add these two, plus 10 is equal to one. Minus two y is one minus 10, which is negative nine. And then y is negative nine over negative two, which is nine over two you plug in any two random numbers to two of the variables in the equation and then solve the equation for the third variable and that will give me the third coordinate. That's how you find all the points on the plane. But okay, there are infinitely many points on the plane. We are not going to ask you to find all the points. It's not possible, but we will find other ways to imagine or 
to write this equation, you see, plane has infinitely many points. But what it turns out to be important is this equation. If we can write an equation like this, which is very simple, I can start writing and finish it, and, and I can understand what is going on. And I can replace the description of plane, which has infinitely many points, by a simple thing like an equation there. And finding equation is the task we want to complete. So this is the next step, uh, writing or an equation for a plane. So the strategy is very clear here to write uh, uh, an equation in the form, in the standard form, we need two pieces of information. So I need to know two things about the plane to be able to write uh, an equation for the plane. We can either write it in the, actually I don't need to write say standard form. I can write in more than one form. But what I need to be able to write an equation is at least two pieces of information. One, the normal, a normal vector. We usually denote it by N. And a point on the plane. We usually denote it by P. What is normal vector? A normal vector is a vector which is perpendicular to, uh, to the plane. If you have a vector which is perpendicular to a plane, that vector is going to be called a normal vector. We usually denote it by n, okay? And well, I want to have a point on the plane. So if you have those things, I can write a uh, equation um, in, in, two, in two forms. One is um, the standard form. You already see standard form. The other one is called point normal equation. What is point normal equation? So point normal equation is an equation of this form. You have the normal vector, a normal vector, and you have the x, y, z coordinate point be denoted by x. This guy is x, y, and z minus the point. Well, uh, the point, I can replace it by the place vector. So the, the point here, you replace it by the vector, which starts from the origin and goes to that point. So I denote that one as a vector. You don't need to do anything. You just write it there, the point, three components. That's the important thing. But you have to note that I'm considering it as a vector e equals to zero. Well, uh, in other words, if your normal vector is n1, n2, n3, this will be dot times x, y, and z minus p1, p2, and p3 dot equals to zero. Now, 
there is an easy way to go from point normal equation to standard form. The way it works is this. I can expand this and that over the equation. So I can write it n dot x minus n dot p equals to zero. And then I write it, I take this one to the other side. It's n dot x equals to n dot p. And then apply the, uh, the dot product it means that you have n1, n2, n3 dot x, y, z. This will give me n1, x, n2, y, n3, z equals the right hand side, you're multiplying two vectors with three components dot product. So it will be a number. Well, I, I'm not going to write it because I don't want to make, make it look complicated. That's going to be right-hand side number. So this is how we find the standard form. N expand N dot X equals to N dot P. Or in other words, uh, N one X, N two Y, and three Z equals to this number, whatever is that. Okay, so that way you basically find the equation in either way that uh, that you have it. Uh, let me write to the uh, write an example, and then we go over the example and see how this works. But remember that we have more than one way to write an equation for plane. One is called point normal or normal point equation. The other one is called uh, standard form, which is, oops, uh, which is this guy. Okay. Let's see some example and then we, we go and do, do uh, see if, if there's any questions on that. Examples. Find an equation for the plane. Okay, there will be few cases. One is that the plane passing um, through the point one, negative two, two, and has the normal vector, a normal vector one, two, three. In what form? In both forms. Let's say in both forms. I'll write more examples as we go on, but let, let's just do this one and, and, and go. So here, again, I'm looking for two pieces of information. A straightforward, a normal vector is given here and a point on the plane. So I'll denote that one as the point. And this is one, negative two, and two. One, negative two, and two is a point. Normal is one, two, three. So point normal form or normal point form, I should write it that way, is n dot x minus p equals to zero. So in this case, it means really one, two, three dot x, y, and z minus one, negative two, and two must be equal to zero. That's the, 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 the normal point form. If you want to do the standard form, you should start with n dot x equals to n dot p. So let me just do a little bit of work here. One, two, three is n, x vectors x, y, z equals 
n is one, two, three. The vector p is one, negative two, and two. This is not normal point. This is not a standard form. If I expand this, I will get this standard form. This is one times x is x, two times y is two y, and three times z is three z equals one times one is one, two times negative two is negative four plus six, uh, plus six. Then I have x plus two y plus three z equals to seven minus uh, four, which is just So this guy is the standard form, the equation in the standard form. This guy is an equation, an equation in the normal point. Any questions, any comments so far? Let me write a, an important remark here that as you see, when you do have the standard form, the coefficients of x, y, z gives me a normal vector. So um, a normal vector for a plane with standard form equation ax plus by plus cz equals to d, a normal vector for a plane defined by this is what you need to do is Pick the coefficient of x. That's the first component of a normal vector. Pick the coefficient of uh, y. That's the second component of the uh, norm of a normal vector. And then c will be the last component. The coefficient of z will be the last. So if someone gives you the standard uh, an equation in the standard form, you can simply pick the a normal vector by just choosing the coefficients of x, y, z in the standard form. Uh, and this guy is a normal vector. That's a remark that we will use in the other examples. Let me do the second part of this example, which I have it here. Find the equation for the plane. So this is the example. Find an equation for the plane uh, passing through one, one, zero, and is parallel to three x minus two y plus z is equal to five. In what form? In both forms again. And well, you say that this is nice. I want to have, uh, I want to have um, a normal and a point we need a normal and a point. A point is given P one one zero is one point on our plane. But instead of normal given, it has other pieces of other piece of information it says that our plane is parallel to a plane given by this equation. 3x minus 2y plus z is equal to 5. I can find a normal, so we can find a normal 
for 3x minus 2y plus z is equal to 5. How do we find it? It's just pick the coefficient of x, that's the first component, coefficient of y, the second component, coefficient of z, the third component. That's a normal vector for, for this plane. But what about the a normal vector for our plane? This is our plane, the plane for which we are looking for uh, an equation. This is the key point here. This is easy to understand geometry but uh, you should know it to be able to completely solve this equation. Um, two parallel uh, planes share normal vectors. What does it mean? It means that you can take the normal vector of the, the, the first, plane and use it as the normal vector for the other one. In other words, in other words, three negative two one, which was a normal vector for this guy is a normal vector for our plane. Okay, well, then I found the normal vector for our plane. I have now a normal vector and a point. Let me just write the point normal equation. A normal point, I should write it that way normal point equation is just three negative two one dot x y and z equals to three negative two one dot the point the standard form oh sorry this is not a nice one this is not the point normal form this is minus uh one one zero dot to n is equal to zero. The standard form on the other hand is you just dot product three times x minus two times y plus z is equal to three times one uh, Yes, three times one is uh, three minus two plus zero. So this is three X minus two Y plus Z is equal to one. Any questions, any comments here? So all the questions for the planes will go around this thing. How you can recover uh, a normal vector for your plane, how you can find, use a point or find a point on your plane to be able to write an equation for the plane. Okay. Okay, no questions. Then, then I will put, move to the second and third example, the second, the third and fourth example. It says, find the plane, equation for plane, which is parallel to vectors u, one, negative two, three, and v, two, zero, two, um, and uh, pass, uh, passes uh, through or from the origin. Okay. 
So we are looking for a plane which is parallel to two vectors, u and v. And it passes through the origin. So origin is normal. I'm looking for normal. I'm looking for a point. Point is the origin. How about the normal? So I have two vectors parallel to my plane. So you, you can kind of assume that if I find a directed line segment, which are equivalent to these vectors, then these directed line segments are going to be on the plane. But I'm not interested in finding equations for, uh, um, I'm not interested on vectors on the plane. I'm interested for, for a normal vector. So I am looking for a vector which is per perpendicular to the plane. So any normal, any normal vector um, will be perpendicular to the plane. That's the definition. And perpendicular as a result to the to both vectors u and v. I have two vectors. Can you find a vector which is perpendicular to both these vectors? Can you give me a vector which is perpendicular to these two given vectors? Here you need to know the fact that, or this is the remark for this question. U cross V is a vector which is perpendicular to both U and V. U cross V then can be used, can be used as a normal vector for the plane. Okay, that's nice. So then I have a good candidate for the normal vector, for a normal vector, U cross V. And this is, um, what are U, V? So one negative two, three cross two, zero, two. This is what well, the determinant of negative two, three, zero, two minus the determinant of uh, one, three, two, two. And then the last one, the determinant of uh, one, negative two, two, zero. So uh, in this case, the, that means that we have found the normal vector minus four minus zero, uh, two minus six, negative four times another negative sign is four, two, uh, one times zero is zero, and minus negative two times two, this is uh, four. Negative four, negative four, four, and four. Uh, and well, that's the normal vector. So since you have normal vector, you can write it negative four, four, four dot X minus P, P is uh, zero, zero, zero is equal to zero, 
or you can do the standard form, which will give you minus four x plus four y plus four z is equal to z. Any questions, any comments so far? Uh, let me do the last example for the equations for plane. Find the equation for the plane uh, which passes through these three points, P, Q, and R. EQR. The question is asking find an equation. Finding an equation for a plane means that we need to find two pieces of information. One is to find a, 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 a normal vector. Two is to find a point. Here, instead of giving me one point and one normal vector. The question is giving me three points. What should I do with these guys? Okay, I can take any of these ones as one of the points on the plane. But for the normal, this is now kind of part three and part four together. What you can do is that you can form two vectors or two directed line segments, which will be on the plane because P, Q, and R are on the plane. So you do find that on the plane, two vectors. And if you find cross product of those two guys, that will be a vector for us. So if, if U is... Um, if U is a directed line segment or equivalent to PQ, and V is equivalent to PQ, P, oh, well, PR, then, well, here I will have Q minus uh, P, so one minus zero, negative one minus one, negative two, five minus two is three. PR, two, uh, two minus zero is two, uh, one minus one is zero, four minus two is two. Is the one we have? Yes. And then we can go ahead and find normal. U cross V is going to be a normal vector for this. Okay. And in this case, this is actually what we already did in the previous example. And that is um, negative four, four, and four. So this is a normal. Now pick any of these points. I'll pick P. You can pick Q, you can pick R. Either one will give you the same plane. The equation might be a little bit different, but the, the plane will be the same thing. So in this case, it will be minus 4x plus 4y plus 4z equals 4 times 0 is 0, plus 4 times uh, 1 is 4, plus 2 times 4 is 8. That means that we have minus 4x plus 4y plus 4z is equal. Is there any question, any comments?
And that, that will bring us to the end of the examples for the time. One thing that you, you need to know for uh, the, uh, the exam or from 1.3 is, sorry, was there any question? I couldn't hear that. Okay, so this part is the distance of a point uh, from a plane. Okay, so um, well, there is some work there. You can read the book. It has the details there, how to uh, to find the distance. But for us, what matters is that, okay, the plane, is it going to be, is given in, in a normal point format, or plane is given in the standard form. So which one is that? So if the point, the, the plane is given in the, in the point normal form, so it is n dot x minus a point equals to zero. And uh, the point that we are looking for, the distance of that point, so here, uh, let me draw a few things. This is the plane, and then you have a point, let's say um, X naught, Y naught, and Z naught. The point is of what is the distance of this guy? Depending on the formula given, uh, the form in which the plane is given, you will see a different form. Well, they are the same thing, but distance of this plane uh, using pi is not very good. Uh, I'll denote it by pi. Distance of the, the plane pi from the point x naught, y naught, and z naught. Either form the equation is given a x plus b y plus c z equals to b. You have to be able to find it. For the first one is in the numerator, you just plug in X naught, Y naught, Z naught into the equation. So you get N dot X naught, Y naught, and Z naught minus P. So these are two vectors, you subtract, you get a vector. You find the dot product of that with normal vector, which is basically the left-hand side of this guy. Instead of X, you plot in your point. Then divide it by the length of the normal vector. Um, it's almost there, it's very good, but, but this number could be a negative number. Distance is always positive number. So I want to make sure that I have everything correct. So I'll put a, an absolute value. Absolute value turns every negative number to positive and leaves the positive unchecked. Yes, please. Is there any question there or? Okay, so, but I can write this one in terms of the, the, uh, the standard form as well. So in the standard form, what you do is that you plug in for X1, you plug in the first coordinate of that point. For uh, Y, you plug in the second coordinate of that point. For Z, you plug in the third component or coordinate of that point. Then 
whatever is on the right hand side, you bring it to the left minus B. Okay. Again, this is a number could be negative or positive, but we put absolute value on that. How about length of the normal vector? Well, normal vector here is A, B, C, and its length is going to be A squared plus B squared plus C squared under this squared. Any questions, any comments so far? I'll do an example now. Find the distance of point one to one from the plane given by this equation. Okay, so here I am trying to, I have the standard form, so I will try to use this form that the distance is. What does this say? This says that you bring this right hand side to the left. So 2x minus 2y plus z minus 1. And then for put the first component of the point in x, second component in y, and the third component into Z. Uh, okay, so the second component was two. Then in the denominator, coefficient of X is squared, coefficient of Y squared, coefficient of Z squared. Well, in the numerator, you may get negative numbers, so you have to find the absolute value of that, that number. So here, you see I have two times one is two minus four plus one minus one, root of nine um, plus four plus one. I would write without absolute value and then add the absolute value there. So this cancels with that, this cancels with that. So this is negative two over root 14. But negative two over root 14 is a negative number. Distance must be positive number. Here is where the absolute value comes in. And this is absolute value of a negative number. You just drop the negative, the negative sign to that. 2 over root 14 is the distance of this guy from distance of that point from the given plane. I think this was what I had uh, to say about the, the planes. Um, I will, I have some uh, more content for the equations for the line in R3. Uh, but before I start, I will pause it and see if you have any questions or any comments, or even you can say some jokes for us. Some jokes, Professor. <laughs> Maybe Go you ahead, can... please. No, please. You, you will say the joke for us. Oh, you want me to tell you jokes? Yes, tell us the joke now. Well, so... I'm, the, I, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be the boring guy in this class. I'm <laughs> no, the, the math teacher. Math yeah, teachers smart... are always boring. No, you're the smart dude, actually. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. I am the boring one. That's why I always ask if you have any questions, any any. Any jokes? You have to bring in jokes. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll think about one. Time. Yeah, we'll think about one for next time, right? Sure, sure, sure. Let please, please. <laughs> okay. So let's let's start the the last part for today's review. Lines in R three. So equation for lines in R three we have at least three forms. What? Uh, three forms of equation to describe a line. So uh, lines in R three can be described by, by um, an equation in one of the following forms. Um, there are four of them, so I'll write them. Point parallel The other one is called parametric. The other one is called two point four. For point parallel, I need a point on the line and a vector which is parallel to the, the line. It's called a direction vector. Like planes, again, you will need two pieces of information. Uh, for the first form and the second form, you will need two one point and one vector, parallel vector, direction vector. Then the equation is going to be given by x equals to turn the point to the vector, to a vector, just, just write the components, but you consider it as a vector, plus a variable t times v, p plus t v. For different values of t, this will give us different points on the plane. And that's why sometimes you will see me writing that this depends on t. This is what how you should read this guy. This is uh, x depends on the value of t. That t is called parameter. It's called parameter, so it's one way of doing that. The other format is called parametric. It's basically this equation, but you open it up and write it for the components. In other words, I will have three equations. One saying me what is X component, first component. The second one says what is Y component. And third one says what is the Z component of the points on the line. How they, they are given, this is like you have for each one, you will have the parameter T, S, U, whatever you like, a parameter, meaning that it is, you can plug in any number you like into that. And then a V coefficient, the com components of V are going to be multiplied by that, uh, multiple of the V in each question. So here I'm assuming that V is V1, V2, V3, and the point P is P1, P2, P3. So that way your parametric equations are not ready. You have to add some one more thing, and that is P1, P2, P3.
for the 2.4, I think this can be this can be done different ways, but this is this is the this is the option. This is the last thing that you need to know. And this is in this case, I need two points from uh, on the on the line. If you have two points, then you can write an equation called 2.4. The way it works is this. You have P in, in, in any order. It doesn't, really doesn't matter in what order you want, but this is how this will work. T times Q minus one minus T times P. But I turn these guys into vectors. Well, sometimes I denote this one with a small P and Q just to make sure that this is the point. This is the point. Oh, there's a plus there, not minus. No, you put the minus one. I won't, I won't explain the same kind of thing. Same kind of thing there. Okay, so uh, so that way you have three three equation three forms that uh, you can write for for uh, uh for three form of equations that you can write it for for a uh, line. Any questions? Any comments? Okay, let's then do some examples. I have three examples at least. And I need to write down this, these ones and then do, do the question example. Uh, find an equation in one of these form. I, you'll see that in some of them, I will do find all three forms, but in general, find an equation for uh, the line through uh, the point one, negative one, two, and parallel to uh, this line here. The second one, let, let me do this one and then we go for it. Okay, I'm looking for a direction vector and I'm looking for a point. Point is given here, but direction vector, which is the direction vector, which is a vector parallel to our line is not given instead of that, we have an equation in the parametric form for another line, which is parallel to our line. So this is our line. This guy here is Um, when I look at the parametric equation, from the parametric equation, I can go ahead and see that the, the coefficients of t will give me a vector which is parallel to that line. So uh, three, negative one, there is no coefficient for no t in the third equation. So that means that the coefficient is zero. So from the parametric equation, we see that that the vector, this vector is um, 
is a direction vector for this guy. Remember the direction vector is a vector which is parallel to the line. Now it means that while well, this vector is somewhere here, parallel to this guy, parallel to this equation. But since our line is parallel to that given line, that means that since our line is parallel to the given line, so we have two lines parallel, one vector parallel to one of these guys. As a result of that, we can conclude that three negative one zero is a direction vector for our line. We denote it by V. So now that I have that, then X is going to be P plus T times V. This is this is point normal. The 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 parametric equations you can find it just by doing this that. The first, you, you can add the right hand side, yes? Yeah? So this is one plus three times T, uh, negative one minus T plus two, yes? Oh, sorry. The third component is plus two. So this guy, the first component is X. I can write it as this one. The second component, is y and the third component is just that. And that way that way you have not only point parallel form uh, but also um, also the uh, the parametric equations for that line Any questions, any comments? Well, let me do another, another example. So this is uh, find an equation for the line uh, through two, one, negative one and perpendicular to the equation 3x minus 2y plus z is equal to. Well, in this case, the equation for the plane is given 3x minus 2y plus z is equal to one. And we have our line is perpendicular to this line. I need a point, point is given. I need direction vector. I need a vector which is parallel to our line. But instead of giving me a parallel vector or a direction vector, I have given this piece of information that our line is perpendicular to this plane. From that, actually just by looking at the equation of the plane, I see that, oh, this plane has a normal vector, meaning that's a vector which is perpendicular to the plane. And it has, look, just pick the coefficient of x and y and z. It's normal vector, is three negative two and one. But how the normal vector of the plane is going to help me to find a direction vector for my line. This comes from very simple geometric 
fact that if a line is perpendicular to the plane, any vector perpendicular to that plane can be used as direction vector for us. In other words, since uh, the line, our line is perpendicular to 3x minus 2y plus z is equal to 1. As a result of that, any normal vector of 3x minus 2y plus z equal to 1 is parallel to our line. So if line is perpendicular to the plane, any normal vector for that plane is going to be a parallel or a direction vector for our, our line. In other words, three negative two and one is a direction vector for our line. And what well, this is B, I have P there. So uh, X is going to be two, one, negative one plus T times three, negative two and one. Any questions, any comments? I will write the third example and I will leave it for you to do it. And uh, this will be uh, find uh, an equation for the plane passing uh, through points one, negative one, two. Let me write it as P and Q, which is two, one, negative one. In all three forms. This is something for you to complete. And a hint for that is that any the vector vector uh, to directed line segment PQ will be parallel to our line. Well, that way you can find V. When you have V, you pick one of the points you can write point parallel for or parametric equations, or you can write use two points and find two point uh, equation for the line. I will stop here. I, I think we have covered a bunch of things. For the next week, uh, there are still some stuff from 1.3. This is specifically lines in R2. You will see there's a little bit more work to be done there. So we will try to do some examples in R2, lines for R2. And uh, for 2.1, there is nothing, almost there's a small piece that we have to cover. Everything else is already covered, but you're just doing the vector calculus or uh, vector uh, operation for vectors more than, uh, with the number of components more than two and three. That's the only, only difference. And then, then we, will, we will finish it. And uh, next week. So let me pause the video, stop the video.